Hello, I'm Martine Croxall. In this episode of Extreme Weather, flash floods claim up to a thousand lives in the Philippines. Scotland battered by hurricane force winds. Ships stranded as water levels drop in the River Danube. And we look back at the year's most extreme weather events. First to the Philippines, where up to a thousand people died and hundreds more were missing after flash floods devastated the southern island of Mindanao. Coastal communities were hardest hit after tropical cyclone Washi dumped a month's worth of rain in just 24 hours. The Red Cross blamed a combination of poor warning systems and flimsy construction for the high death toll. Up to 40,000 residents of the port cities of Cagayan de Oro and Iligan were sent to emergency shelters. Government officials suggested many people ignored the approaching cyclone because Mindanao, the most southerly of the country's main islands, usually escapes the worst tropical storms. High winds, blizzards and freezing temperatures have caused havoc in Scotland. The severe weather has been nicknamed Hurricane Boarbag, an old Scottish word meaning an annoying person. Gusts of wind up to 265 kilometres an hour were recorded in the worst storm to hit Scotland for 10 years. Power to around 150,000 homes was cut off, trains and flights were cancelled and roads and schools were closed. Ships using Europe's second longest river, the Danube, have been stranded as water levels drop because of the worst drought for two centuries. Reports from countries through which the Danube flows, including Romania, Bulgaria and Hungary, show that water flows have been reduced by nearly 40% and shipping is down by a quarter. Dozens of vessels have run aground and in some stretches the river is more than two metres lower than normal. Drinking supplies have been affected in Bosnia and there are fears that nuclear power plants in Romania, which rely on the river for cooling, may have to shut down. Time now for a look back at some of the most extreme weather events of 2011. We've had some of the worst droughts, floods and storms on record. The year began with torrential rain and deadly floods in Australia. Three quarters of the state of Queensland were declared a disaster zone and more than 30 people died. Floods in South Africa killed more than 140 people and 20,000 were made homeless. Dams such as this one on the Vaal River were opened after weeks of heavy rain left them dangerously full. More than 100 million people in North America were hit by a severe Groundhog Day storm. At least 24 people died in blizzards and high winds from New Mexico to Toronto. Damage was put at around $1 billion. 2011 has also been a year of extreme drought, with China, the US and Mexico all badly affected. The Horn of Africa suffered its worst dry spell for 60 years, with more than 12 million people facing acute food shortages. Meteorologists blame the drought on a prolonged La Nina weather pattern. La Nina has also been blamed for heavy rain which caused floods and mudslides in Colombia in May. More than 500 people died. Experts say rainfall was five times higher than average. The deadliest tornadoes for three decades ripped through the southeastern United States in April, killing nearly 300 people, wrecking several towns and forcing two nuclear power plants to shut down. And two people died when a tornado hit New Zealand in May. The 200 km an hour twister cut a sway through Auckland and demolished a shopping centre. Large areas of Thailand, including parts of the capital Bangkok, were underwater for months on end following one of the heaviest monsoons on record. The World Bank says it was the fourth costliest natural disaster of all time, with the total economic impact put at around $45 billion. Finally, in this roundup of the most extreme weather events of 2011, Hurricane Irene tore up the Caribbean and eastern seaboard of the United States before making landfall in New Jersey, the first tropical storm to do so in more than a century. On the way, Irene caused more than $10 billion worth of damage. Now for our regular visit to some of the world's most extreme places. This time we head for Mount Washington in the United States, which claims to be the home of the worst weather in the world. In April 1934, the meteorological station on the summit of Mount Washington recorded a southeasterly wind of an incredible 372 kilometres an hour. 
the wind speed was measured on a regular anemometer and still stands today as the highest official surface wind speed at a manned weather station. Scientists at the Summit Observatory regularly endure bitter cold, freezing fog, heavy snow and, of course, high winds. Residents in Beijing have been suffering one of the worst periods of smog in the country's history. Smog forms when pollution from vehicles and factories combines with fog, and it's particularly bad in warmer weather. Hundreds of flights in and out of Beijing were cancelled or diverted, drivers were told to use headlights during the day, and thousands of Chinese took to the streets wearing face masks. A cold snap has temporarily dispersed the smog, but residents fear health risks will continue. That's it for this edition. Don't forget if you've got video of an extreme weather event in your neighbourhood, be sure to let us know and we'll feature it on a future episode.